TB is a big problem, one of the major public health issues even in the 21st century. TB in the, in the current space of time has uh, evolved. There has been some new strains, mutations and all those things. So that's why we need to be one step ahead and be constantly developing new vaccines, we need new treatments. The scientific progress we made on HIV and more recently COVID, it's just so fast. And really that's money. It's investment and then attention. And this whole time, and actually for much longer, TB has just been there and not been invested in to that degree. We need brand new voices at the table if we're gonna solve these problems. In the context matters in research. So if you do the clinical trials here, you already know the challenges. The results, I think, become more representative of the situation, either in lower middle income countries or just in the rural areas, because that's where we are. And the treatment will be then more acceptable and more realistic for the setting where you want to use it. Here, there are a number of factors you have to consider. Transport to the clinic is not easy. Someone might have to take two taxis in the bus just to get to the clinic. Someone might not have enough food to eat. We know that TB treatment requires that a person also has adequate nutrition. We have to consider all those things. I feel me being here and being passionate and being able to talk the language of the local people, it helps us to have that trust with the community because we, we, we are able to talk with them. We are not imposing our studies to them, but if we co-create the studies with them, it serves their interest because it's, it's addressing their needs in their households and in their communities. We are privileged that we have Ari in our area. It is important that we, we as communities have institutions like this because we're putting our lives on what they are coming up with. We have a, new, a very active community advisory board and often you know we'll have a new question for research and then I go and present it to the community advisory board and they always push me farther. And it's extremely motivating, and it reminds you TB is the leading killer in the country. And so that means it affects every family, and it really does. You know, when funders and decision makers can attempt to reverse structures that have long been inequitable, we will find that a whole sector of ideas, perspectives, interests, start to come in and be represented in the scientific enterprise and that has to be a good thing and I think it's actually the only way forward. You know I think this would be a great disease to flip some of those traditional power structures and bring tons of energy from the communities and the countries that are most affected and you know try in doing this to make some changes to the scientific ecosystem.